Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's figure out how to convert a decimal to a fraction. And let's follow these steps. I'll go through very quickly because I'll work an example. First, we're going to write the decimal as if there's no decimal. Sounds weird. Then we're going to create a fraction with 1 in the denominator. Then we're going to count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal of the original number. And then we're going to take this number from step 3 and write this, write the number of zeros to the right of the 1, and then we're going to reduce. So let's see that played out. Step 1, I'm going to write it as if there's no decimal. Okay, next I'm going to create a fraction with 1. I'm going to count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal, and that is 1. I'm going to take this number and write the number of zeros, and that is 1. So now I have 6 tenths. Now I can reduce this, and here's what I like to do is... I like to create a little chart because it just, I think, keeps you a little bit more organized. You don't have to do this. You know, you can just divide, but this makes sense to me. So I know that 6 and 10 are both divided by, divisible by 2. 2 goes into 6 3 times, and 2 goes into 10 5 times. These are both prime numbers, so it's reduced. It is 3 fifths. Okay, oops, I barely made it on there. Let me move this up. Okay, so it is 3 fifths. So 0. 0.6 becomes 3 fifths. Let's work a couple more examples. So what first thing I do is we're going to create a fraction, and I'm just going to write 75, and just act as if there is no decimal there. I then just write a 1, and I count how many numbers are to the right of the decimal. I have 1, 2. So I just write two zeros. I then need to simplify this, and I'm going to show you a simple way of simplifying. Write 75 and 100, and then write a line like this underneath. Then try to figure what goes into 75 and 100 evenly. I can use 5, or I can go 25, because I know my 25s, and I know 25 goes into 75 three times, and 25 goes into 100 four times. I now have a prime number, and the last test I do, will the prime number divide into the other number? In this case, no. So you have, there's your fraction. So 0 0.75 is equal 3 fourths. Okay? Let's work at another example of these shortcut method. We have the fraction 0 0.35. I write a 35, place it, uh, create a fraction, write down a 1. I have one, two numbers to the right. Okay, I then need to simplify. I'm going to write 35 and 100 next to each other. In this particular example, uh, I know that 5 will go into it, so I put 5 on the outside. 5 goes into 35 seven times, and 5 goes into 120 times. Okay, so at this point, 7 will not go into 20. 7 is prime, so the fraction is 7 twentieths. Okay, now let's go one more, please. Let's move it up to 0.75 and make sure everything is correct. Okay, so let's go ahead and I write 8.75 as a fraction, I write a 1, I count 1, 2, 3, so there's 1, 2, 3, okay? I then write 8, 75, and 1,000 under a line. I then divide it by 25 because I know 75 and 100, I know this is divisible by 25, okay? Uh, 25 will go into 875. Let me double check that with my trusty calculator. 35 times and 25 goes into 1,040. I, now I know that 5 will go into both of these. 5 goes into 35. 7, 5 goes into 840. Excuse me, 5 goes into 48 times. This is prime. Prime will not divide into this number, so it is 7 Eights. Okay, so there's your shortcut for dividing decimals into fractions. Takes a lot of the guesswork out. 
just remember, write a 1, count how many numbers are to the right, add zeros, and then simplify, and you can use this method for simplification. Hope this helps, and thanks for watching. Moomoo Moo Math uploads a math, science, or motivation video every day. Thank you.